Good morning, good afternoon. How's everyone? Hope you're all okay. So I decided to go somewhere completely different today, somewhere I've never been before. So right now I'm at Teen Spot Watford. That's the place right there. So I've been meaning to um, turn up here ever since they first built this place. Uh, I think it's about a year ago. I think it opened in October 2019. If I if I remember correctly, I think it was October 2019 and then throughout the COVID and stuff like that, it, I just never had a chance. Yep, decided to come to Watford today. It is slightly different. It is an electric cart today and it's not petrol. It's all looking really good. I can't wait to give them a try and give this place a really good go. Right now it is very, very busy and looking at the car park uh, there's not that many spaces for team sport so if you are new here like myself when you come through this entrance it's along the fence at the back there there is a, a team sport sign on there that's where you park and then the other parking spaces is for this uh, parent paradise place so don't know what that is but i know team sport so yeah when you do come along here just park over by the fences there and that's where you park. So I can see from the main entrance, there is a, a crowd at the moment, there is a queue. I am a little bit early. Um, as most of you know me, I like to get here a little bit early and try and book in as soon as possible, get a lot of filming done as well, check out the place before I actually go on. So I like to prepare myself. So right now it is raining, it is miserable. So I'm going to head my way in, see how things are over there, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys inside. Enjoy. So there was some massive uh, confusion of what's going on. I've been told that the guy's are already on track and I'm 15 minutes early, which is strange. Not a good start here at Watford, for sure. So finally here, I had to rush my way up here. I'm a little bit out of breath. But yeah, this is the track, check it out. God, it's absolutely silent compared to uh, Petrol ones, aren't they? So, quite bizarre. But no, God, I had to rush my way up here. I don't even know I've been signed in and stuff. He just said, oh yeah, you know, you're good to go, you're good to go. Uh, so, so yeah, we're gonna quickly just get ready now because um, I don't know whether our session is about 10 minutes yet. I've been told that the, the people that are in my session are currently getting briefed. So, but I just got told the wrong information. Absolutely wrong information. So, oh well, I usually turn up about 10, 15 minutes early just to arrive. Go on. Cold piss. Cold piss. Uh, well, we're going to sort it out now. The one on the bottom. Bottom, uh, the bottom row, to the right. His head might be in the way a bit. Hold on. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that, that is me. Perfect. Once we get your cards assigned, you'll be getting in there. Brilliant, thank you. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> He's added me onto the board now, so uh, the session finishes in about eight minutes. So I'll give you guys a full tour after our POV of the circuit. So yeah, we'll give it a go. See you in a bit. Cool. Take off the pedals for me, sir. Yep. Open all right, you're comfy. Pull forward for me. Brake test, stop. Stop for me. Cheers, bud. So here we are. We are at Watford. Coming down the main ramp here, once the green lights just happened, I realised I hit that bear and I was like, oh, it's very incredibly slippery uh, down in this section. 
So I was trying so hard to try and get my uh, tyres all warmed up and uh, ready for go. So skipping ahead here, just after this red flag as everyone gets tested. So right now, learning a new track. See how the uh, how everyone else is doing it. I did hang back right here just to see if uh, these people know the track and uh, try and see if I could follow the lines uh, around Watford. So at the moment, just trying to get used to the car. It's, it's weird, it's like every time I go to different team sports and that, the, the cars just feel different to each other and stuff, especially these are brand new electric carts. Uh, the brakes are a little bit sensitive and just feels different. So this first session is just getting used to the carts, uh, get familiarized around the track, looking at where you could get the grip, what's the racing line is, and just having a good time really. Honestly, not really much has happened uh, through this first session of being at Watford. Um, I'm gonna let you guys just watch the rest of the clip and just share my thoughts uh, afterwards. Honestly, this whole session is just learning the carts, learning the track, learning the racing line, really. Um, and hopefully I can get past this cart in front. So enjoy the rest of the clip, it's not that long. I will speak to you guys after the next event happens. After following this driver in front, I think it's about time to start making a move. So I started moving up this ramp. I was like, oh, is he going to close the gap? But no, I eventually managed to squeeze my way through absolute freedom. Skipping ahead throughout the whole session, I was on by myself. There was no, no one to overtake, no one I was battling with. It was just simply learning the track. And it's now coming to the end of the session. So we're just going to come up here, we're about to get called in right now. I'm going to start pulling and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys after this and, and I will share my thoughts. A very interesting circuit, it literally just came off. Um, I noticed pretty much throughout the whole circuit, you don't need the brake. You can just let the cart do its thing. As long as you follow the racing line and you're hitting the apex and that, the cart sort itself out. I think the only time you need to brake, there is a ramp uh, on the far left over there. Um, you have to come down this main straight, heading down towards this door, and you have to do a full U-turn and that. But there's, there's this, uh, little white patch on the floor which is a pretty good straight uh, like braking point so other than that you just let the cart just slide it is incredibly slippery downstairs compared to reading i think this one's far more slippery i think it's because it's just brand new the there are a few spots down there where you can just get grip it kind of feels like you're on um, like sticky tape um, and there is this one bit i think it was turn eight or turn nine i can't remember exactly but there is this bit of concrete, it's like a square concrete. As long as you hit that, you can easily straighten up the cart. So, I'll tell you this though, it's really warm in here. Like wearing this um, rib protector, I was boiling on the track. It's uh, incredibly hot. But other than that, it's quite an interesting track. I, I quite like it. I wish it was petrol, um, but I think a lot of us wish it's petrol. But very interesting track, I, I quite like it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to my second go, really. So I'm gonna quickly go, go and sort myself out and then, uh, yeah, show you guys the second session of this fine afternoon. So, see you in a bit.
<laughs> so, second session is on the way. Just making our way round and making over the cross the start and finish line. Going around turn one. I think that's turn one. No, turn one's just up here. Oh, I've got that mistake. Come around, going down the ramp. And I remembered how slippery it was. If you hit that apex on the right, you can easily swing the cart right round. Uh, I've noticed there was a bit of grip on that left-hand side. Uh, it's like this, uh, it's like concrete. And then a little bit later on, there's this like these gray silvery stripes uh, along the track on the floor there. I noticed you get grip on them. Um, they're a lot grippier than any other parts. And uh, you seem to control the cart much better once you go on top of them. I have to admit, it is quite strange. Uh, I don't exactly know what it is. It feels like I'm going on top of like duct tape. It's like that kind of feeling. So if you are turning up here, uh, try, try and get grip on the top of them. So I've noticed there was a bit of a traffic ahead. There was only one driver here. Um, I noticed that he's learning. Try and squeeze my way through. Don't mean to scare him. Uh, sometimes you just have to accept that there are a lot of slower drivers than you. That are brand new to the carts, brand new to the track. So just on my way up here, I thought I'd go and make the move on the left. I realised this guy's made a hard left turn and I crashed into him. We both immediately apologise. I don't know whether you can just hear him in the background, but he apologised as well. He, he admitted he messed up. It was an issue. It was a race incident. We were both in the wrong. I totally misjudged him and uh, he totally misjudged his brake as well. So, hey, it happens. So following these other two drivers in front, I noticed this cart number 10 knew the track very well. I thought, okay, right, I'm going to follow this guy around, see how he takes things. I know there was a slower driver in front, and there was a little bit further traffic in front as well. And I also noticed there was a bit of a train behind me as well. And uh, I'm quite proud of myself trying to get through all this traffic and managed to make him my way through the traffic. So I noticed he went a little bit wide there, and that's it. Managed to get through it all and I was on my way. So this next lap or two, I noticed uh, someone was bumping into me quite a few times. I was constantly looking left and right. It was, uh, I believe it was cart number 10. We should see him in a sec. Uh, I noticed he knew the track very well. Um, I knew that he was trying to get past me as well. I don't know whether you just saw it back there. Um, you're about to go and see it again on the next marshal around this corner. Uh, lucky me, I got the fastest lap. I was uh, quite chuff. I think it was about 49 seconds or 59 seconds. Oh, I'll mention it after the uh, session. I thought, okay, cool. I know there was one regular that is on the session with me who's here nearly every week. Um, I know he probably saw that I was given the fastest lap and he probably wasn't happy about it, especially someone like myself, turns up, doesn't know the track at all, and it's sub beaten times really. So a lot of battling going on in front right here, I was trying to avoid it all, trying not to cause collisions, uh, managed to get past one of them, and so I was thinking, oh, how can I get past this guy without causing hassle? I was trying to practice not bumping into people as well, and that's the thing that I keep doing, I do bump into people a lot. And uh, I almost uh, crashed into cart number 14, but someone did hit me from behind. But hey, it happens. You don't expect them to break that hard around that corner as well. So eventually I'll go wide here, so like, see how things are. And now he's stuck with the middle of the track, he went full defensive. Uh, I thought I gave him a little bump right here to say, hey, by the way, I'm right behind you. I noticed this guy's in front, ah, I made a move right here, no problem. Uh, that was the end of the session. I noticed there was a lot of traffic here. Uh, I decided to overtake this lot. By the way, you're not supposed to. You should never do this. 
but if you feel like they're going a little bit too slow and it's a little bit too dangerous go ahead and just overtake these lot of course in a safe manner so just coming into the pits and uh, yeah I'll tell you guys my thoughts again and uh, I'll show you around as well So, just had my second session at the uh, at Watford. No, very interesting one. Uh, I managed to get around 49 seconds on this track. Uh, I think that's okay for the times here. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what everyone else's fastest time. I might take a look. Um, I've noticed the Tricks family's been here. I've seen your names. Interesting track and stuff. I, I really enjoyed it. It was quite complicated in some areas. The upstairs part of the track is actually rather easy. Um, you can literally just put your foot down and not break and as long as you follow the racing line, it's, it's all okay. It's, it's quite easy. But downstairs is uh, where you need to start working at. Downstairs is super slippery. You've got to hit every single apex and also I noticed you can't actually you can't put your foot down all the way down there actually because you might have to break in some like some sections so on my second session I did get the fastest time throughout the session but then more towards the end this person who was a regular here managed to beat it by like 0.3 of a second so congratulations um, you beat me you beat a newbie uh, He's, he's quick. I noticed him. Uh, he was battling uh, quite a few times with me. Uh, I let him go. Um, I'm here just to enjoy Watford, enjoy getting a good time, and try out the electric carts. Really, it's uh, it was pretty good. So I'll give you some views now of the racetrack. Personally, actually, uh, this team sport is pretty good compared to the others. I've noticed they've got like a little golf course in the building, which kind of brings more families here. Um, great for business. It's like if, you, if you've done karting or even just before karting, you want to play a little bit of golf, you can. Um, I definitely want to walk around and ch check out the golf area. Uh, I'd had a little bit of glimpse. I, I looked it around. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But um, no, brilliant for families. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I think it definitely brings more people to stay here a little bit longer. So now this this circuit is far more interesting compared to another electric uh, track that I've been to, which is Farnborough. This one has really complicated uh, corners. A lot of them are a lot wider. They they expect you to go wide around these these areas. You don't. You don't need to. The track is huge uh, when I say huge it's just wide um, there's a lot of overtaking spots as well and no very good I like this track I just really wish it was petrol um, the only downside here during the summer it's it's summer right now it is pretty warm in this building it is pretty warm when I was out on the track with my suit on and my rib protector I, I was pretty hot I was sweating and it was quite hard to breathe down there um, it's just so humid and warm so i wonder what this track is like uh, during the winter it's probably far more slippery or something i'm not quite sure so it'd be really cool to check this place out later in there later in the year so right behind me this is where you get onto your carts there is a screen uh, when you walk through there's a uh, little steps as well so there's the steps uh, there's a big screen up here let me get a better view so it's right here that's where you get to check what carts uh, what cart number are you so you go down the steps so beside me and these are the carts right behind me um, so one thing I have noticed these carts are very new when you the pedals are super sensitive really really sensitive especially when you put a little bit of pressure on the brake you immediately stop um, I didn't like that 
I am a more person that really needs to adjust my brake where in some areas I need to brake slightly, in some areas that you do need to hate brake quite hard. But it doesn't matter what bit you're up the circuit, you wanna you wanna slow it down. The only way you can really do it is constantly feather the acceleration because when you let go of the acceleration, you're actually braking a lot quicker compared to the petrols. So whoever wants to come here and you want to brake at some bits let go of the throttle it really does slow you down um, if you really need to start hit the brake just slightly you'll stop um, another thing i have noticed as well when uh when you actually join the track to start your session uh, they have a safety mechanism where you put your foot down but really you're only going about two three miles per hour it's incredibly slow uh, so when everyone is on the track they just and you see the lights go green that's it you you're not restricted so you can really put your foot down you you notice there's a bit of a jog so but no really cool good safety mechanism i, I understand why they've done it uh, i'm but the downside for it for myself you can't warm up the tires you can only warm it up once everyone is on the track and it's a green light so compared to reading team sport you've got flashing yellows you're going slow anyways but you want to you want to warm up your tires and get it all ready especially downstairs it is very slippery so you want to quickly warm up the tires you start to feel more grip later in the sessions once you've done a few laps and they've warmed up so definitely enjoy this track this is awesome i i'm glad i came up here i was going to say down there but no it's up here for me um, i met a few friendly staff here the staff have been great um, i was very annoyed when i first arrived here uh, my session actually started at quarter to one um, i arrived here roughly about 20 past 25 past so I was about 15, 20 minutes early. Because as an elite member myself, I don't need to do briefing. They usually ask people to turn up early to do briefing anyways. Um, but no, this, this guy, he said everyone was already on the track. There was no way I was going on. Was not happy. Definitely not happy. That's not the way you should do it, really. You should really find out if they actually started or not. So I had to leg it up here find out if actually my session started but really the truth is it wasn't they were getting briefed so the time i arrived and ran out of breath already I had a chat with the staff here um they were just finishing briefing so i had, I had plenty of time to get everything sorted out and get onto the track really so now it's a little bit downside of the today but other than that awesome place uh and yeah i'll go and get some shots of the place and uh show you guys this this golf area which is really cool i'll, I'll go and show you guys that now So literally coming to the end of this video right now, um, I had uh, 
pretty good time here. I really enjoyed it. It was something different. I'm so used to going to Reading and that, and uh, it just absolutely gives you a massive change of going into the electric cars. I'm so used to going outdoors as well, and um, it just, it's just a completely different environment there. I'm not gonna lie, the golf was really, really cool. Um, I think it was like six pound per person or something. Um, awesome, absolutely awesome. Enjoyed the track. The carts were brand new. I liked, I liked the carts. They were cool. Um, would I definitely come back? Yeah, definitely for sure. This, this, I recommend this place. Honestly, it's very, very good. Um, it is a bit of a journey for me, but for anyone who is local around here at Watford, do check this place out. It's, it was good fun. So. Thank you very much to everyone who's watched this video and um, don't forget to give it a like give it a comment tell me what bit you liked um tell me anything any feedback anything even if uh, it's a little bit negative now please please let me know something to improve my channel improve my videos so thank you very much if you'd like to see some future content hit that subscribe button as well that helps me out and oh it'd be awesome and thank you everyone who watched the 24-hour race as well that hit 100 views in i think it was just within a day so awesome thank you guys see you next time peace out